We now go to Te Awamutu, where ongoing trials are being conducted at Ag Research's Tokanui Dairy Research Farm, aimed at improving cow lactation. Researchers are focusing on the molecular mechanisms within the mammary gland that regulate milk production. Kuljit Singh explains. The main focus of our research is to understand the regulation of milk production. So there's two trials I'd like to talk about today that we've carried out here at Tokanui. And they're both relating to try to understand what the mechanisms are within the mammary gland that regulate the loss of milk production. So the main thing behind that is that after the cow's calved, she'll get to a peak lactation very quickly peak milk production four to six weeks and thereafter there's a gradual decline in milk production. So what's the mechanisms in the gland that are regulating that loss of milk production or that shutdown of lactation? There's one trial that we completed last season. We call that one our lactation persistency trial. We've collected um, mammary gland biopsy samples at two stages of lactation, one, one at peak and one at later lactation. And where we are with that trial is to now go back into the lab and try and understand what are the mechanisms that are regulating the divergence that you're getting in milk yield between those two groups. The second trial we call that our unilateral milking frequency trial. And from research that our collaborators overseas have carried out, they've shown that you can improve persistency. So you can improve that loss of lactation that you see during the season if you carry out frequent milking very early during lactation, the very early stages of lactation, then if you convert back to milking twice a day, those cows that had been milked more than twice a day will be more persistent, they'll be more productive across the entire season. So what we did was we had 10 cows that we milked half the udder once a day compared to the other half which was milked four times a day. So that's what we've got set up here, instead of the normal four cup clusters, putting the four um, cups onto the four teats, we've got two cup clusters. For two weeks after the cows had calved, they were on that treatment, once a day versus four times a day. And um, at the end of that two weeks, we collected biopsy samples from the mammary glands, from the one times and the four times milking sides. And now the, the real hard work begins in the lab to understand what are the mechanisms that are different between those two other halves. The trial was designed in this way, so that we had both treatments within the same animal. It makes it a very powerful design because we eliminate a lot of variation that you will get from nutrition or photo period, the genetics of animals. If the treatment effects are all within the one udder, one side's once a day, the other side is four times a day, then you're eliminating all that variation and that um, means that you need less numbers for your experiments um, and the variation you're looking at is the local mechanisms within the gland. Here we're looking at a section of mammary tissue from a cow and this is a method that combines histology with being able to look at the messenger RNA. And we found a very interesting observation here that not all of the mammary tissue behaves at, in the same way at the same time. A lot of the gland is fully active as shown by this um, dark black area. Some of the gland is not so active as shown here and there are some parts of the gland are not showing any, making any kind of milk proteins at all. So what we're trying to do is to find out why these areas are making less and some areas are making none and turn them all on so that they're all making more milk. We're wanting to identify new genes or mechanisms within the gland which will provide us with new ideas for novel technology. So what's already known is that cell number and cell activity are very important for um, producing milk and there's a range of different uh, at a range of different levels that can be affected. For example, nutrition will influence cell number and activity, hormones, and also local mechanisms within the gland, um, such as the work that you saw from Dr. Molina, where he showed that um, in a lactating gland, most of the cells are synthesizing and secreting milk, but there's a small portion of those cells that are involuting and not. So that gives us a potential to be able to enhance lactation. So what are the genes or mechanisms that are regulating that? And we know a number of cell signaling pathways, and so we're focusing in on those at the moment um, in our studies to 
um, see how critical or important they are. <coughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.